Bill Hood across the street, he always came out at the same time I came out of the house because I went to public school then. He said to me as we, we didn't even get to the end of the block and he said, Joy, this is the feast of Our Lady. Immaculate Conception was December the 8th of 1945. And so he said, if we were in Catholic school, we wouldn't be in school because it'd be a free day. So his sister Lizzie, who was a girlfriend of mine who lived across the street, of course, and um, he said, Lizzie's home sleeping. So he said, let's play hooky. I said, well, sounds all right to me. So we only got to the end of the block and immediately we went down the block away from home and down the alley and into his house. He went in and got his gun and then he took his gun and went hunting it. We're near the North Woods. Well, Lizzie and I, even the minute I got home, got into her house, she said, let's have um, bacon and eggs. So we made a wonderful breakfast of bacon and eggs. I'd already had breakfast at home, but then Lizzie said, let's jump on the beds. You know, kids love to jump on the beds. She looked up and she says, my God, Joy, here comes your mother. It, the sunroom was her bedroom, which had faced our house. And here was my mother. She didn't even have a coat on. It was the 8th of December and she was walking with great determination across the street and she came right up the steps to their house. So I rolled out of bed to the floor. I don't think she had dusted under there for a year. But anyway, my mother said, Joy Dolores Wiedemann, get out from underneath that bed. And then when I got out, I felt perfectly naked because Lizzie had given me her a pair of her pink silk pajamas to put on so I would be comfortable. Well, I was very, un I felt naked. And my mother said, you've got 10 minutes to get your clothes on, pick up your lunch sack. She said, Mrs. Barngrover, who was the Dean of Women, is waiting for you to get to school. She said, you have 15 minutes. We only lived like six blocks. I was gone three hours, so I had to make up nine hours of detention after school. And during the detention, I had to read the life of Thomas Alva Edison, and then write a book report on it, etc. Well, they're all very kind and thoughtful and you don't have to worry about a thing. Everything is taken care of.